ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Crown. Hey you guys, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Tyson and we are back today with a face-to-face -face video. I haven't seen you guys in a second. Um, I wanna go ahead and credit the um, content creator who gave me the idea for the format of this video. Um, oh, that's T. Y'all should definitely go check her out. I'm gonna remember, um, try to remember, my best to remember, to link her video, that, uh, her video that inspired me to do this format down below in the um, description box. But um, basically, I watched her do a story time with some nails, and she told a story time, and she did like a voiceover while she was doing the nails um, on the mannequin hand. So I figured, okay, I'm into cooking, so I'm going to do that. And I've been wanting to roll this story time out for a second, but I was trying to figure out how to format it. And I was like, this is something new. I haven't done this on my channel. I do a lot of heavy content, um, race politics and stuff. And talking about that, I, it's, it's good to be educated on... Um, you know racial climate and stuff like that and you know talk about the black community but sometimes you just want to do some fun shit so you know here we are that's what we're gonna do um this is a shot in the dark i don't know how this is gonna go i don't know if y'all are gonna like this hopefully y'all enjoy um and to explain my absence real quick i don't want to go too far into it but in this pan mm, needy sandwich ah censorship <laughs> gotta love it um and going through this Pythagorean theorem, I've just been figuring out like, okay, Tyson, you're 23. What do you want to do with life? Um, I'm actually looking at possibly, and y'all can let me know some advice down below if you have any um, thoughts. I'm looking at doing maybe Job Corps. Um, and I don't know if maybe I'll go a little deep in depth, deeper in depth in another video, but I don't know if I would be going for the right reasons. Um, part of me feels like when I went to college, I went to college that, you know, let me turn this air down just one. I'm not going to burn up for y'all. I don't, you know, shout out to the content creators who film and no AC in the car. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> not today. So at any rate, um, that's what I was saying. Um, damn, that ADHD is serious. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, when I went to college, I went to college and went back to the house. I didn't have like the dormitory type of situation and i do kind of envy college students who did have that if i'm being honest so part of me is because when i talked to my um mom about it i was like um which by the way for the moment me and my family are back on speaking terms that's another thing that's happened in, or changed in the last year um my dog ended up passing away october 20th of last year and um we kind of just slowly got back it's not what it used to be but we're kind of just just vibing at this point um so at any rate um i was talking to her about the situation and um i said um basically like job court is like college right and she was i was like isn't this what college is supposed to be and she said yeah so i, I i'm thinking about doing that but part of me feels like I, I might just be going for that experience. I might not actually want to. You know what I'm saying? Really, we all know what I want to do. <laughs> Music, podcasting. So I need to find a way basically to get into that. I thought about maybe going back for um, um, journalism and maybe being like a radio personality. Um, I think I could that, that could also work for me. So I'm just I'm just going through the motions of what to do you know what i'm saying i know i want to own a restaurant one day i don't want to necessarily be a chef though so i don't i don't know it's a bunch of bunch of shit just figuring out adult life basically so we've rambled enough but with that being said that's basically what's been keeping me busy i'm trying to keep the podcast afloat um i just did two episodes on let me relax so definitely go check that out i spoke about alfonso Rivera and the baby and then um i do have sad shit me and my co-host, um, Jay Sean, we're supposed to do an episode later on today. We'll see how long it takes me to film this video because y'all, they cut the water off temporarily at my complex. And we cooking with chicken. So I might have to cook it like the Caucasians. 
Now, should we wash our chicken or not? No. <laughs> so, at any rate, was with that being said, <clears throat> we're going to go in here. Shout out to Lidl's for discount grocery shopping because... <laughs> Who wants to spend a thousand dollars at Publix for eight items? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Not I. Um, I don't want to know how the prices are low. Don't, don't. I, I, I don't. I don't want to know. Don't let me know. Um, with that being said, let's go in here. Get what need, and I've rambled enough. Um, shout out to reusable bags. Conserve energy. Save the earth and shit. And you know, they're also helpful at self-checkout if you want discounts. What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail! Period! Let's go. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. Put this back down. Alright, finally back. Oh my god, all y'all be talking about, I want to be a YouTuber. It took me 30 minutes just to film that intro, you guys. Oh my god, okay. This is why you always be nice to everybody. I don't care who it is, from the janitor to the president. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can say that now, because you know, <laughs> two years ago, last year, I would <laughs> might not have been so quick to say that. But, um, and that's not to say that, you know, not to get political, but I ain't, Biden is not a black savior by any means. <laughs> but, um, with that being said, you always be nice to everybody. I don't care who it is because the person I always talk to in here, she saw me and she was like, let me know when you're ready to ring up, put her pallet down and brought me over there. And let me tell you, she be coming in clutch. I don't even think she be ringing in everything that I get because I know one time this cheesecake, I was with my friend. And this cheesecake that I ain't even need, it was like $10. It wouldn't ring up. She said, go ahead, you good. <laughs> Treat everybody with kindness. You never know where it's going to take you. So we chatted up real quick, hugged with her, um, wished her daughter good luck on school. And now I'm headed back to the house because I got to drop a food, baby. Let me relax. That was too much info. Bye. Yeah. You want a sugar, baby? Treat these sugar moms like Pokemon. I got to catch them all. Hey, Michelle on these women. Tricking, but I love, love them all. She love the way I keep a dick <laughs> ball like Caillou. Beat the pussy blue, but I'm still with them pirates. Tell me how I took your crown. Oh, we on boss shit today. What's the premium, bitch? Premium, bitch. So, what's up, you guys? We are stepping into the editing room for a voiceover. My sinus is low key hating on me in the last 10 minutes of editing, but that's okay. We're going to get through this shit because what God got for me can't no one stop. So, let me tell you a story about me being a little tot. <clears throat> so, with that being said, thank you, God, that my complex turned my water back on because I thought I was going to have to get creative. So, you're going to put in a little bit of Clorox. It has to be main brand Clorox bleach way it will not taste right. Once you put your Clorox, you're going to take a little bit, I mean, maybe about two drops of the Dawn's issue detergent. Don't... Shout out to Kev on stage. That video had me cracking up. So at any rate, you guys, oh my God, this is a different type of story time. I've done a few on this channel and I've never really stuck to doing them. So um, let me know if y'all like this content down below and I'll do more. Um, for me, this is very different. Not just because it's story time and I haven't done, been on YouTube consistently like that, but also I am a Sagittarius. I'm very private with my dating life and much more with my sex life. I just don't really discuss that with a lot of people. So, with that being said, this is, you know, if I don't sound all the way there, I'm, I'm adjusting, I'm trying to get comfortable. So, and also, like I said, my sinus is acting up. But at any rate, with that being said, bear with me, we're gonna try to get through this. So, for those of y'all who are grown there's this little site called x videos you might also know the sibling site is called pornhub and x hamster well your boy has an account with all three i am not giving you the account information i'm not adding you if you find me you find me but let's just go ahead and get that out the way because y'all know y'all messy <clears throat> that's why y'all clicked on this video so at any rate with that being said um, and I do plan one day, I'm gonna go ahead and manifest it. 
when my career takes off, whether that looks like local fame or worldwide superstar, I do plan on erasing that shit because ain't nobody finna get me caught up. And I've seen celebrities get caught up um, covering their tracks for less. So just know when your boy blow up, them accounts go down, all of them. <laughs> ain't nobody playing that shit. So at any rate, um, with that being said, on those accounts, I did and still do have content of my own, minus Pornhub, because when the whole um, child trafficking stuff happened last year, Pornhub made it to where if you're not a official, like, verified person, they're gonna strip your videos away. So, minus Pornhub, I still have videos up on X videos and X hamster. So, with that being said, this story happened around this is, two, two. this is 2021. I just went back in my Google Photos um, to get a, you know, refresher of the situation. And I also have receipts. I'm going to, of course, blur her out, blur out the name and all that. Um, and for the people who judge, I've actually been through a personal situation um, where somebody had screen shot at me while I was on video camera showing you know, being a little thot <laughs> in sixth grade, actually. And um, this person sent this to a person I did not get along with. And this person spread it around the school as if I had sent it to them. And that not only was a lie, but it also fueled the rumors of me being into men. Because this person, and it was weird because this person is like, he's like a weirdo. He's kind of like got that. Tyler the Creator thing going on, which no offense to Tyler Creator, you know what I'm saying? But he like, he's always doing gay-ish stuff. So for people to just run with what he said, I, it just goes to show you, bad is good and good is bad. So at any rate, with that being said, we're gonna let the chicken marinate real quick. Be right back. Tell me what you want from me. You know I got that good pee pee. I'm crying. So at any rate, <laughs> with that being said, back to what I was saying with the story. Um, this person basically created a false narrative that I had sent him these pictures. At one point we were friends, we became not friends. Um, there was some beef in um, us both being in the same rap group. It was some high school shit, but I did take it seriously because everybody knew certain things about our relationship that was tumultuous that it was just like, if you fuck with me, you cannot fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Like we were at that point, you know what I'm saying? And if I see this person to this day, I would have spit on him if he was on fire. You know, I don't have any hatred or heart for him. I know that sounds kind of contradicting, but if you were Sagittarius, you understand. So at any rate, with that being said, um, like I said, this person uh, was sent something by a girl I was on video chat with. She showed me her breast. I showed her um, actually my dick and balls. Um, and I wasn't ashamed of it at the time. Now, I'd be very honest. And maybe I'm, maybe this coffee, um, which is not virgin, by the way, <laughs> it's got me feeling a little too good. But back in the sixth grade, and this is the last time I've ever measured my penis, um, I was like 6.5 inches, so I don't think that was too bad for a 6th grader, to be honest. Um, maybe y'all shouldn't answer down below, this might be a little weird, but, like pedo vibes. But at any rate, let's get back on track. So, I wasn't necessarily ashamed of it, um, but I didn't want the whole school seeing it either. So, because of that situation, I always keep receipts. And I always keep receipts anyways, because I've had people do some foul shit in the past. So... You send me news, I save them. Now, I'm gonna send you news to where mine can be saved as well, and you have the full range, just like I do, to keep record of any conversation you need. Just like Remy Ma says, I keep it in the file cabinet. You don't try me, I don't try you. You try me, I'm coming to get back. It's that simple. So, it's not a thing of, oh, I plan to explode, expose this woman or any woman's pictures that are in my phone one day. It's just, in case some shit go down, especially like I said, if I, you know, when, when, you gotta manifest, when my music career blows up, 
I don't want to be the only one looking dumb should my shit be leaked. So with that being said, I say that with no shame. I keep screenshots, moves, all that shit. That's how I was able to go back and figure out the time he was talking. Now, if you heard that story and you still feel like that's pathetic, that's da 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 da, that's cool. You can have your opinion. Feel free to dislike on your way out. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the story. I just wanted to add, wanted to add that context real quick because I am gonna, like I said earlier, put the stuff up. I'm gonna blur it out, of course. But with that being said. So, like I said, X videos. This is where me and this woman ended up talking. I believe she was 27 or 34. I cannot remember. I have always had a thing for older women. Um, and, and it was actually very, like, it was, it was not always legal. Let me just say that. So, I understand now, looking back, uh, that was predatory. But... That's what I was into. I've always held with the older crowd. I don't really vibe with people my age too often. So, um, with that being said, it made sense that I would be into older women. And me and this woman started talking back in March of 2018. And uh, we might have talked for, I think, about at least a week. Um, I'm not as fast as most guys. I know most guys, they swipe right and then they, boom, they're in your guts in the same night. Now, that's not to say I haven't had moments like that. I do believe this generation just does not practice, um, you know, abstaining from sex and getting to know each other on a personal level. And I have my own issues with that. I'm not perfect. I'll be very honest. Um, now, I'm also smart enough to wrap it up and I have 5011 kids. My kids on somebody's couch in their mouth. Because <laughs> I'm classy like that. <laughs> so at any rate, see the voice crack right there? It's just that was God saying to stop. You're doing too much. So at any rate, with that being said, I, um, you know, I have a little thoughty moments, but I do want to get to know who I'm going to be inside of. Wow, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> so at any rate, we're speaking, getting to know each other, our origin, um, like I said, we met on X videos, um, exchanged photos, those photos turned into more revealing photos. And from there, it, you know, went to sexual conversation. Um, so at this point, I want to be clear, I am a consenting adult. I am 19 at this time, 19 or 20. So at this point, it's legal. Are we far in age? Yes, but it is legal. And as far as the extent of what we talked about, it was always sex. It was never like we're going to be in a relationship. It was always just sex. We're trying something out. You got a nice body. I got a nice body. Um, this dick popping. Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> so at any rate, with that being said, we um, ended up... You know, finally making plans to link. And so I hit her up. I remember I was, I think in, yeah, I was in college back then. So uh, we were texting one day throughout class. Um, or I was texting her throughout class. And I also, I th did I have work that day? No, no, no. I was actually off this day. So um, we were talking about, you know what I'm saying, how to execute, you know, doing the do. And... Oh my God, I'm terrible. We terrible. This was on a Wednesday, y'all. <laughs> and I remember because she had brought up her family being at church. You're not ashamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. All right, so back to the story. So like I said, it's Wednesday. We finna do some heathen whole shit on Wednesday. <laughs> So, we're texting, and, you know, I'm kind of like an ambivert. So, like, I'm an admixture in between. When I'm really cool with you like that, like, we can, you know, like, I can, uh, I don't know how to say it. Like, okay, for instance, one thing, I'm not really fond of, like, PDA. But when I really fuck with you like that, like, I don't, I can hug you, I can, like, laugh on you, I can, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we're, when we're vibing like that, whether we're friends, dating, whatever, then, 
You know what I'm saying? When the vibe is there, the vibe is there. You know, when a relationship is built, it ain't going nowhere. But it takes me uh, some time to get there. And sometimes I think we psych ourselves out when it comes to, like, sex. And you know what I'm saying? Like, And that's why I don't, like, I don't be doing all that. Oh, I'm going to blow your back out. Like, I don't, I don't do all that shit. Because to be honest, I, I don't know what the fuck going to happen when we get there. You might stink. Um, I might have an incident like what I'm about to tell you. Um, it might get cut short. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, Manny Tyson just might not be up to performance par that day. You know what I'm saying? So you never know what's going to happen. So I don't believe in like hyping myself up. I let my dick talk for itself. Um, sorry to be blunt, but hey, this is a grown folk story time. So Y'all should have been known that by the title. <laughs> but at any rate, and YouTube is definitely going to age restrict this. <laughs> but at any rate, um, well, I'm going to do it before they can anyways. But at any rate, going back to the story, I don't believe in doing all that. So um, I just let it talk itself. Um, so like I said, I'm off. Um, her family's at church. I'm texting her um, as I'm on the way. Um, I finally show up and I recognize the place. Hold on to that information. But I recognize the place. So I go up there, text her I'm here. Um, I think I had to go to the bathroom, which happens a lot before I fuck. I don't know why. But at any rate, or maybe it's just like a just to make sure thing. I don't know. But at any rate, um, I go to the bathroom, wash my hands, come out, we're talking, and it's real awkward. It's like, you know, one word answers, um, we're talking about, I remember Taco Bell being in the conversation, now I know ain't nobody was thinking about, like, eating during sex, so I can't remember what the reason for Taco Bell being in a conversation was, um, but that came up in conversation, you know. Then we started talking about, okay, so should we do it here? Should we go somewhere in the vehicle? What's the situation? I, to the best of my ability, as I can remember, feel like they had one vehicle that they all used. Her, I believe her grandma stayed there, and um, kids and all that. Whereas I have my own vehicle. So they were out to church. So it was on me as far as transportation transportation was concerned. Sorry, y'all, if I'm getting hard to hear. My nose is really trying to work against me right now. Like, it's the fraudulence for me. It'd be your own body parts. But at any rate, do really, <laughs> that's the gist of this story. It do be your own body parts. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but at any rate, let me, let me, let me get it back together. <clears throat> Real niggas don't cry. Let me relax. So at any rate, that's what I was saying. We're making a decision on where to go. And we end up saying, you know what? We just just don't want to risk them coming back to church and finding us in the liberal fucking. So let's do the responsible thing and go to Publix parking lot. <laughs> and now that I think about it, I don't even think it was Publix. I think it was um, for the people who live in my city, where like, Hooters is at, there's like a store with a green thing. It's sad because I live two minutes away from whatever this is. But I think it's, I know it's not a Whole Foods, but it's, it's some type of, maybe it's like Starmark. I don't know. I don't know. But that parking lot is where we um ended up going over to. So I park. Um, and keep in mind that this time it's March. And back then... It still was cold in March. Now, because of global warming, you know, that, that shit don't exist no more. But it was cold back then. But you know what the Jehovah herself says. Canada is cold outside, but I'm still looking like a thotty because a hoe never gets cold. So, you know, I was going to tap that in any type of weather. I did not care. So, we, you know, park, transfer from the front seats to the back. And, you know, like I said, it's still that awkward energy there. And, you know what I'm saying? It's still like, uh, like, you know, we're looking at each other. So, you know, a grope here, a touch there. A grope here, a touch there. 
Um, at this point, I'm, you know, kind of getting to where, you know, I need to be. So, you know, I think I take off my shorts, maybe. And I can't remember if I was just free balling this day or what. But, kind of take off my shorts. So, at this point, I'm, like, you know, rubbing myself. And I feel like we really need to, like, have conversations and be open when it comes to sex. But I think it's hard. Like, I really think that's one area where I know for myself, I struggle to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Even as a man, like, because in this moment, like, for me, me personally, and again, I do not, like I said, I don't talk about sex much on this channel, but for me, I don't need a girl to jack me off. I can do that shit myself. So, like, if I come over and say, I want head, I want head. I don't, I don't want you, like, just jacking my dick for five minutes in a row. Um, this video is definitely going to be extra strict. <laughs> but I don't want you jacking my dick for five minutes in a row. I can do that myself. If I wanted that to happen, I would just do it myself because nobody can fuck me like me when it comes to jacking off. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm calling you for a now. Um, now, can't speak for everybody, but I know back in the day, your boy was flexible. So I could also do that part if I wanted to too, but I, no, nah, I'm good. Um, and now I'm a little old, can't flex like that. Now, I said I could do it, keyword could. I did not actually do the self suck, but, the potential was there um if I wanted to but like I said I can jack myself off um so we're you know what I'm saying I'm slowly jacking myself off and I don't know if I just kind of finally said are you gonna suck it or what's the situation but I think I said something to the effect of that and all of a sudden she says Oh, I don't suck dick unless I'm dating a nigga. Suck my dick, bitch! So, you know, respect to that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I need to work on being vocal more during sex. And I respect, you know, this is an older woman I'm dealing with. She knows what she wants, so I respect that. What I do not respect is her not being upfront with that before the get-go. And then to make matters worse. So here's a kind of like golden window uh, or, or a golden slit, if you will, for me. Okay. Head definitely helps more than what I'm about to say. But for some reason, if I can have one hand on me and a couple fingers inside of her, then... I'm still able to get hard. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a, a I don't know if it's like a, a domination, dominating type of feeling. I don't know what it is, but that can, wow, this video is very graphic. That can um, still get me there. You know what I'm saying? Not as much as head will, but it'll get me there. So at that point, I mentioned, okay, are you good if I finger you? And then she's like, are your hands clean? Now, I'm okay with, you know, now that I know more about pH balance, I'm okay with, you know what I'm saying, her asking that and being okay with that. And then now, I, and I knew even back then, I couldn't just put no Germex on and just go right in her pussy. That wasn't going to work. Um... So, with that being said, um, you know, she had her standard. She had what she was able to, you know what I'm saying, bend on what she wasn't going to bend on. That's fine and A-OK. -okay. I do wish she would have been upfront with that before because I would have been, like, just said, we're not a match. Like, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm very blunt. So, if I don't think we're a good match sexually, especially if it's just sexually, not talking about a relationship, anything where I have to... Just me, not trying to be cold-hearted, but just being honest. I don't have to care about your feelings in a sexual relationship. So, I can be, like, 100% honest. There's no pressure. So, at any rate, going on from there, like I said, she said, um, yeah, she, you know, wasn't comfortable with that either. So, we just try to fuck. And... For me, this is where I do feel like, and I personally feel not just foreplay in the physical sense, but, you know, bump and grind it. Like, that to me is important. I now know that. Back then, I did not know that. So, 
actually, as I'm telling the story, I'm realizing it wasn't so much of a performance problem for me, but more so I just wasn't turned on. <laughs> like there was no type of leading into the situation that made me feel like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm ready to do this, you know? Um, but we did try, you know, I got in the middle seat. Um, we tried to, um, you know, she tried to sit on top and it just wasn't working. It was not working. I was not turned on enough. You know, I had not, she had not earned it to me personally. Now that I think about it, looking back, um, so after that, you know, I just said the excuse of I'm tired, I'm stressed out. And to be honest, I was, you know, y'all know my family story and how we had spoke um, for about a year and some change after I ended up moving out. Um, so I was stressed, to be honest. But also looking back, I think it's just I wasn't turned on. We were not sexually compatible. I couldn't give her what she needed and she couldn't give me what I needed. So... um yeah, now that I think about it, that's more so what I think it was the problem versus just me having, like, a performance anxiety. I just, just I don't think I was turned on. Um, with that being said, this is still very awkward of a story to tell. Um, definitely age-restricted. <laughs> and, um, oh, yeah, earlier I mentioned I remembered her house. It looked familiar. Um, oh, yeah, to wrap it up, we just ended up going back home. It wasn't working. Um, so we ended up, I ended up taking her back to the house and, um, oh, I remember, I think we stopped and she bought some Taco Bell for like her kids or whatever. So I took her back to the house. We never spoke again. And needless to say, this is why I remembered the house though. I told y'all in the beginning, I was working at Domino's. I told y'all at some point that I was working at Domino's. I delivered pizza to this house and spoke to this woman's mother, this mother's woman, or oh my God, this woman's mother and kids and family, maybe about a month or two, or no, it couldn't even been a month because I was only working at Domino's. I started, um, I believe January 26th or February 26th, and we had linked up like by around March. So I literally just met these people a month ago or whatever. And now I'm putting dick in their mother slash daughter. Oh, my God. This story is so wretched. <laughs> oh, my God. And we had, like, when I say I met them, like, we actually, I wouldn't say, like, we were like, oh, you know, my favorite color is this. But we did have a nice conversation. You know, sometimes when you work in a hospitality or, you know, delivery, you like, you vibe with the customer. You speak with them. I never spoke to her once, but I did speak with her grand, uh, her mother for a good amount, amount of time. So that concludes the end of this story time. Um, yeah, this was ratchet as hell. Let's go ahead and um, get y'all back to um, the results of the food. Oh my God, y'all, it's fucking 3.49 and I gotta be work at four. Granted, I live like two minutes down the street, but still. It's the food not going down fast enough for me. Vegetables smash, of course. Let's see what we didn't eat. Hold up. Cut. Oh. And it's not bad. Um, I did a version of this before, I guess you could say. Where um, my dad used to make the cornflakes. Um, and he would use that. And that would be our healthier version of like fried chicken. And so, I know it wasn't too far-fetched. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And also, check out the latest version of Sad Shit. Episode 7. I will be editing this and that later on tonight. Fun. <laughs> so y'all let me know if y'all want to see more content like this. Because like I said, if y'all don't say anything. Or if it doesn't get, you know, hella likes. Hella, um, interaction. I ain't gonna waste my time. Because this took a long time. <laughs> um, but yeah. Y'all let me know down below if y'all enjoyed this. If y'all want to see more videos like this. If there's something specific you want to see y'all let me know one thing that i do want to get into and i have a list full is the um eating different color foods for 24 hours when that trend was going on 
I was I was too broke to be doing that. <laughs> um, so there's that, and I and actually it wasn't even just that. I was on a diet at the time. It was partially vegan, so it was hard to you know find stuff with the color that would coincide with the diet. Um, but now um, I still eat plant based, but I eat, eat mostly. <clears throat> I eat mostly what I want to. So with that being said, if that's something y'all want to see, I do want to try one of those. But y'all let me know down below what y'all think. Um, let me know what y'all think of the new intro. And I will see y'all later. Peace.